Good morning everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. It's Memorial Day, I'm starting to film every day for this week because I'm home. Um, it's only gonna be basically a few snippets here and there because I do have to work. Not so much today, today is actually a holiday, but I am working anyway. I have to make about seven phone calls, write seven notes, and then I'm done. So I'm gonna do that in the morning. Obviously the kitchen needs to be cleaned again. Um, and my plan for today is to start working on the front though, I'm nursing a horrible headache. And we're talking, I've had it for how many days, Nasca? Uh, three. Three days. Yeah. Three days since Friday, I've had this sinus headache. And I don't know if it's the result of dehydration and um, uh, or atmospheric uh, barometric pressure or a combination of both. But today I woke up, I've been so, medicated in the past two days you probably didn't even notice uh but today I'm, I'm feeling the brunt of it so i don't think i'm gonna do any of that i mean not guarded i made it yesterday's video to give him a break and then put the stuff on etsy and that's about it but for now we need to clean the kitchen have breakfast then i'll make my phone calls and figure out what we're gonna do after that I'm gonna take some Sudafed again. I just, it's horrendous. <laughs> it's horrendous. Oh no, it dropped. Uh, do you guys have headaches, sinus headaches, migraines? If you do, you know what it's like. It's basically, I feel like a quarter of my head has been scooped out and I'm left with the pain from it. It's horrendous. But anyway, um, I'm gonna soldier through Scott. <laughs> Memorial Day. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, well, it's not veterans, it's Memorial Day. They're not the same thing. Um, today's the day we remember those soldiers who lost their lives so that we have the freedom to talk nonsense on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> right? Pretty much. Um, that sums it up. All right, we got to empty the dishwasher, fill in the dishwasher, and then make breakfast. I don't know what I want. Right now I want coffee, that's what I want. You know, not for anything, Scott. Yeah. I'm starting to believe that adulting is grossly overrated. I mean, come on. <laughs> Where's the uh, the toll? Well, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. We do the same thing every day. Yeah. It's the same thing every day. Oh, teenagers, they don't know how good they have it. For real. I know I did. You didn't? I don't even remember me as a teenager, to be honest. I'm sure I was obnoxious and entitled. Like most teenagers. All right, I'm gonna do the counters and then uh, we'll make breakfast, all right?
So I've done all my phone calls. Um, I'm still nursing a headache. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's really bad. Um, I just woke the dogs and I'm going to start editing uh, the videos I did on the Etsy and um, life update because Scott is upstairs. He's still editing the other one that we shot on Saturday. And so that's going to take about an hour. What is it? It's 12. I'll be done definitely by two o'clock. Then I'll go outside and I'm going to start working on the front. So what I'm doing this week, since I'm working from home, is that I'm going to stop working at five, unlike all the days, and I'm going to go up front. And my goal for this week is to have the whole front done. I have bushes to trim. I have a dead bush to remove. I have weeding to do. I have uh, the chips, uh, wood chips to uh, lay. Um, it just proofs up the front because it's, it's looking pretty bad right now. Uh, but that's because I've been in the back for two months now and didn't pay attention at all to this side. Um, and then I'll put the stuff up for Etsy, um, ready for the video when it comes out tomorrow. And then Scott will edit those videos when I'm at work. So it's, uh, let me tell you, it's very difficult um, for those of you who suffer from migraine headache and sinus headaches. It's very difficult to even try to concentrate on anything because I feel like my eyes are crossed the entire time. I'm, I'm really struggling to just read anything. It's um, ugh. it's the uh, pressure. Now, there's supposedly an app called... I downloaded it. Um, you're supposed to purchase earplugs to go with it. It's called Weather X. I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like. So it looks like this and it basically tells, gives you alert when based on your uh, area, your barometric pressure is going to change drastically and they tell you to put their earplugs, which obviously I have to purchase. Um, they're not like regular earplugs, like the foamy ones, the, uh, the specific ones. I have to look into that. I'm going to try that because this is definitely the result of the massive um, storm that we had three days ago and the last three days worth of rain and the difference in barometric pressure and temperature. That's really what it is. So, and because Nurse Helen's got the same problem and I texted her this morning and I asked her, hey, are you having a headache right now? And she says, yeah, for the last two days. So her and I have having the same problem. We're very sensitive out. And it's spasmodic too. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Oh, hi baby. Hi, hi. I'd be happy because I'm home all day this week. Um, anyway, so I'm going to edit and then I don't know what we're going to have for lunch, probably leftovers. Um, this is so boring. It's so boring. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a boring life. Okay. There's nothing exciting going on. Um, you know, it's just like normal life, I guess. Um, we're not particularly entertaining. I don't think we are, but uh, I just want a headache to go away. I just want a headache to go away. It's like it's pulsating. It's really bad. All right, I'm going to edit. I'll see you in a bit. When I come back, I'll um, be done with this video and then I will be outside getting rid of a dead bush. I'm done editing and guess whose headache is gone too? Oh, thank God. All right, no more headache. Um, this is done. It's, uh, you're going to be in, uh, in luck. For those of you who like chit chat, this video is 53 minutes long. <laughs> I got all the uh, cuts for the ads. Um, tea is uh, ice cold and it's 2.15. You see, it took two hours to edit a video. For those of you who think that YouTuber's life is super easy, no, it's not. Um, because that's all of yesterday's six something hours worth of work. Uh, filming and then two hours editing and it's done. So now all I got to do is um, play some more music. Hold on. I'm, I want to make sure I got all the music. Um. I pick the corniest music for my video, don't I? <laughs> I, just, I just like it. I don't know. Oh, I'm so glad the headache is gone. 
three full days. Okay. Um, I, there's no special effect or anything in this because um, I'm the one who edited. Scott didn't. He has all the skills. He does all the uh, uh, After Effects and title design. A different attitude towards life. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is emotional. See, and all I, I did was like some see. title Emotion stuff. That's it. Okay, so this is done. <sighs> all right, save it. Um, it's called Etsy and Life Update. We're gonna close it, and we're gonna have lunch. Um, and then I'm gonna garden for the rest of the day. Why is this not closing? Not responding. Here we go, we crashed. I need a new computer. This laptop, I kid you not. Okay, so this laptop, oh, finally. Um, none of the USB plugs here work. The DVD no longer works. On the two USBs I've got here, only one works, and that's the one that's being used by the mouse. And the card slot doesn't work, and there's times when this computer actually um, writes backward. It's the weirdest thing. The computer writes backward. Uh, so we're gonna encode this, and then I'll upload it tomorrow, um, waiting for the Adobe encoder and we're gonna have lunch. All right, so let me see what kind of leftovers we have. Scott made some uh, ravioli yesterday and it was actually pretty good. Um, There's just enough for the two of us. Willie ate already. Vegetables. And then we have meat sauce. So I'm gonna make plates for the two of us. Edward eats on his own, he makes his own stuff. He destroys the kitchen each time, but you know, when he has a wife, he'll get it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm so glad the headache is finally gone. Um, I took Sudafed early this morning and then I took this. See, I don't take meds. I've explained that. I hate taking meds, but I do take um, prescribed meds is what I meant, but I do take over the counter. Um, anybody remembers Hansen? This is like, like, but Nurse Helen couldn't believe they still make it actually. I can't even remember where I found it, but this is aspirin with caffeine and it actually did help. Um, Exedrine will give me the jitters. This doesn't. And, uh, I, it finally, it, I could feel it, like you hear the crunch in your sinuses. How do you like the description? It's, you feel the crunch in your sinuses and then it just goes pop and then it stops. Oh, I'm gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna finally sleep. Uh, there's not a lot of raviolis left. It looks like Willie helped himself generously, which is good. He's starting to eat more. No complaints on my part. Um, and as soon as I move food around, these two show up. <laughs> yeah, that's not for you. You had your own food and then I got to walk you again. All right, let me make lunch um, and then we'll go outside. I'm seeing some sun peaking, uh, which is good because I won't freeze when I'm working. And since I have to do a lot of weeding and it rained for three days, what it means to me is that the weeds are going to pull out like they're coming out of butter, which is great. No straining on my part. Yeah, my front yard is pathetic, you guys. Um, all of these bushes here need to be um, trimmed. And then I have this thing here that died. So I'm going to cut it down. And dig it out. It's gonna take me a while. And then I'll put, I'm gonna work on one garden bed at a time all this week until I get the front yard in order. I can't work on two yards at the same time, okay? When you have a property, it's a lot of work. And most everybody in my area has landscapers. Can't afford one, so I gotta do it. 
Scott is going to come in with the um, weed hacker and then we got to do the edges here. I don't even know why this thing died. It was perfectly fine last year. And then it just did. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to put on its place. I'm going to have this big hole. I do have a very large uh, pot that I could put something in it. I was thinking maybe I could put a... Um, a climbing rose, but with the deer, I don't think so. If you can't cut it, use the cutters. Where? On the stairs. Uh, how about you let your brother do that? I don't judge <laughs> because uh, the front really needs help. Um, the bushes are trimmed. Looks much better. I now have two pots. One that has a dead plant and one that has no plant. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna grow here. I'd like to get something that can climb on the column. That would be nice. So all of the mulch is in and then the mulch is in these. And this is where I used to have the roses if you remember but I had to remove them because of the deer. And then here's the other one. Um, they used to have a rose. The white one used to be here actually. And uh, so this is what we got so far. And then we filled up that one too. These are the hydrangeas coming up. Um, 
all of that area that you see that's just dirt we've receded three times i think Sam? two times oh i don't remember two times okay all of this has been receded because it was all weed and we got rid of the weeds but now we can even grow grass i mean it's pathetic look at that you can still see the expensive seeds that i bought <laughs> paid 54 dollars for a bag um receded the whole front and the whole back and we watered it twice a day as recommended it's been three weeks not one blade of grass finally i had the receipt but anyway this is looking much better um much much better so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna grow in this big planter here i would love to do a rose um, i have to study which one is not an issue with deer we'll see and then over here i gotta figure out what i'm gonna put um these are from two years ago i think uh this is still pretty clean now during the week i have to do this bed and you see my peonies they all collapsed and this whole area here is going to be all filled up with mulch as well or chips i'm going to fill this one up with chips and here we got more patches that have not grown we need to get more seeds i gotta go online and ask which one is 100 uh, percent okay 100 percent right. what 100 percent uh guarantee it's dinner time and i'm going to make a chicken soup i have um a rotisserie chicken left over from a couple of days ago so i'm just gonna basically um Saute some onions first, and then what I do is that I cook the chicken in water and make a, but just a little bit of water to give it, uh, to make a broth basically. And then I add carrots and celery to it and add more water. And uh, I let it simmer for a good hour. And that's chicken soup and we'll do uh, the rice or noodles on the side that's garlic bits, in case you're wondering. Um, simple dinner. Nothing has to be fancy every single night, you know? Parsley flakes. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. That's enough. A little bit of pepper. Yeah. This is too much heat. Basically what I do is while the onion is cooking, I grab my rotisserie chicken and I start disassembling it. And I just pull pieces of chicken. I have two dogs that are about to show up and Beg for food. I uh, already have one. <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. Um, I just grab all the pieces. I mean, a rotisserie chicken is perfect for that. Just cut it in pieces. Just add about three cups of water. And I'm gonna let that boil and cook for a good 15 minutes. And that's gonna basically give me my chicken base. And then while this is boiling and cooking, I'll dice my carrots and uh, celery. And then I'll add that to it, add more water, cover, and let it simmer. So 
so this has been simmering for a good 20 minutes now and it smells mm, delicious okay so I'm just gonna dump my carrots and my celery in there and add a little bit of water the rice is cooked already we cooked it yesterday um, to go with that Chinese or was it Friday I can't remember and it was Saturday Mix that, add water, and I'm gonna let it simmer for as long as I want. When we're ready for dinner, that's it. Um, since the rice is already cooked, I'm just gonna pour the rice in a bowl and then add the soup over it. You do wanna cook it long enough for the carrot and the celery um, to cook through. Bye. And Edward just announced he's going out. So it's just the three of us for dinner. Slamming the door, you heard that? <laughs> okay. Scott and I are going to enjoy some TV and I'm done with dinner. So that was my uh, Memorial Day. Um, a little bit of everything, uh, this and that. Um, dinner is gonna be pretty good. This is just what you need after a hard day's worth of work. Um, and we did speak with the neighbor and he's okay with us putting, well, it's technically it's our property. So we're gonna put the rest of the chips on the side of the house that is across from his driveway. Uh, he doesn't seem to care, so that's fine. And uh, we're still gonna have some extra, but that will go in the back um, for the chips. So tomorrow, um, again, I'm working from home tomorrow so you'll probably get to see breakfast uh what i'm doing for lunch and then little snippets here and there of me working like a montage you know but the big deal tomorrow is us going um doing the north side for garbage picking don't expect much i'll say it again the north side is never very good i may find a couple of items for the garden or a few things here and there but nothing great that i can resell and make big bucks of but we enjoy the ride actually uh scott and i we go and and we do the north side and we look at houses and gardens and uh, you know we see people it's nice to do it now because it's uh, still daylight pretty late in the day so we can be out there and chill usually eight o'clock is when we come back um and that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this video hey somebody said that the reason why the grass is not growing is because we did not aerate the ground oh, yeah, yeah. So next time around, maybe we want to do that. Well, it's like that one part by the road. Yeah. Uh, got uh, churned yeah. right by the uh, gas people. By the gas, okay, so. so that's probably why. Because the part on the median is somewhat growing, not everywhere, but somewhat growing. So um, we'll see. I'll poke holes, and then I'll bring more soil, and then I'll try again. I gotta get this lawn to look decent. Um, believe it or not, it is not the worst lawn on the street <laughs> i just want to say that this worse okay but anyway uh so this was my little day in the life i hope you enjoyed it and uh you enjoyed the last two videos i will see you soon um we're not gonna post every day but we'll definitely be more than twice a week this time around so i'll talk to you later thank you for watching you guys bye hey it's me and guess what click that thumbs up if you really like this video thumbs down twice if you didn't you can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.